Is there another need for a book on stress? Well, I decided there was, insofar as I wanted to write a book that was easy to read and uh, a dip, easy to dip into. One thing I didn't want to do was to write a book that was going to cause you more stress <laughs> when you were already possibly experiencing stress. So, how many people in the audience here actually reckon they are stressed at the moment? Okay. All oh, right. Oh, my sister as well. Okay, right. That's stressed us at home, obviously. And how many of you are not stressed? So, do you have the key, Roger? Do you have the key to not being stressed? Yeah. But, um, I tried very hard to keep, uh, keep calm. We were talking about exercise and diet. And so, as a matter of looking after our bodies, which, you know. The, the answer very simply is, in some ways, is that we all know what we should be doing. If I say to you, you should be exercising, we're like, yeah, well, I know that. If I say to you, you should be looking after your, you know, your diet and watching what you eat, it's a bit like, I know that as well. So there, is there anything new in the book? In some ways, you can't recreate the wheel. But what you can do in a book is to put tools, techniques, and how-tos. And that's what I actually wanted to do. I wanted to do it very much. So let's start off with what is stress? What, from you, you're the audience, what do you reckon stress is? Anybody, anywhere, what is stress? <coughs> Feeling out of control. Feeling out of control? Worry. Worry? Can't sleep at night. Can't sleep at night? Anybody else? Headaches. Headaches. So it's the continual. And I think in some ways what we're saying here is it's not necessarily the, <clears throat> the can't sleep at night as a one-off. We all go through that. It's not necessarily the headache that you get that is just every now and then. It's when it actually becomes a headache on a regular basis. It's when you're not sleeping on a regular basis. So what actually is stress? <clears throat> well, stress very simply is, is the excessive pressure that you have, is that which you experience. Excessive pressure. So... Is stress good for you? A little bit. Okay. So then, what is the difference between pressure and stress? If stress is good for you? Good stress and bad stress. Ah, there's good stress and bad stress. Okay. Right, okay. Well, as of years ago, that is something we did actually talk about. You talked about your stress. Now we actually don't do that. Now we don't do that at all. Now we talk about simple things like pressure is good for you. And stress is not. Pressure is what you can manage. Pressure is what you can cope with. Pressure is within your control. Pressure gets you up in the morning. Pressure motivates you. Pressure gives you that feeling of in control. I can manage. I can do. That's what pressure is. Now, fast forward into what stress is. Stress is outside of your control. Stress is what you cannot manage. Stress is not a good place to be. Because as soon as our body starts coming into the stress zone, that actually is not where it wants to be. Not where